The Ducks have used their advantage in shots to take the lead here in the first. Here's a short pass to Doughty. He scores! Drew Doughty! Well, there's so much emphasis on winning faceoff, James, and this is why you get possession and you get a huge opportunity quick off the draw. Puck possession, so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Anaheim's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. And now he angles it across to Terry. Textbook poke check by Deneau. LA's got it behind the net. Quick pass to Anderson. Oh, and he cracks it perfectly in the offensive end. And now he moves it quickly to Fowler. Let's it fly. Huge save on the play. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Absolutely incredible that he can extend himself like that, James, and be able to get onto that puck. Incredible save. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded. Closed space so fast and just taken down. Quick shot. Fantastic save. Pinned up along the boards. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. Los Angeles looks to attack. Oh, a little wax on, wax off. What a blocker stop by Gibson. Fires it into the offensive zone. Quick pass across to Kopitar. Los Angeles has it in the neutral zone. Moves it to Kopitar. Scores! There it is, the go-ahead goal. And how good does that you can see the selling. The energy is certainly there, and now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. This is a goal scorer's goal, James. I mean, that's some sick skill in tight. And how about the patience to pull the goaltender out of the net and just slide it by? That's some silky hands. Los Angeles has to be feeling good about their game here to start this one as they lead by a goal in period number one. It's been a tight game, James. I feel like they've competed for every inch of the ice. They were rewarded with that go-ahead goal, and now it's about not only keeping that lead, but extending it. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Dishes it off, and that's poked away. And a great scene. Who's the puck? Here's a chance. Score! And they're cooking now. Uh, the opponent has no answer for them right now because they're relentless on the puck. They've garnered some momentum after multiple back-to-back -back goals, James. They don't want to leave any breathing room and let their opponent get some life back. Well, it's going to be a quick release that gets it done here, James, but I'm more impressed with him getting to position. you got to fight to get to those areas. It's tough in there. You pay the price, and because he does, he scores a goal. You can see the coach on the bench after that last goal, and just certainly not happy with the effort that his team is displaying. You can see the feedback that's coming to athletes, and he wants to see a difference out there. He needs someone to make an impact. The Kings extend the lead by two here in period number one. Well, I really like their play up to this point in the first period here, James. I mean, they've got themselves a two-goal cushion because they've been relentless on the puck. But now it's about continuing to be urgent, not getting complacent, and sitting back, continue to attack. Big stop by the keeper. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. LA's got the lead here in the first as they have been the more dominant team in the offensive area. Anaheim's won the defensive zone draw. Sends it in front. He scores! What a play! Goaltender spent so much time tracking pucks, anticipating plays, and knowing exactly where they are in the net. He thought he had this covered, but unfortunately, he was beat just inside the post. LA's been the
the better team here in this first period, and as a result, they've got a big lead. The Kings take possession after that neutral zone faceoff. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Slides it over to Kelly. Moves the puck along the half wall. He's a blast. Oh, he keeps it out of the net as it goes off the club. And they send it right back to him. Gains the zone. Oh, solid save by Kipper. Can't maintain possession. And the play continues. And he passes it up ahead to Byfield. LA's got the puck along the wall. Mitchell comes hauled down. Penalty on the way. And the officials will pass the sentence here. The coach really just wants an explanation as to why his team continues to get the call here. And I think also just putting the ear on the official right now wants him to know that he's not happy. coming up. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. Deneau's won the draw here in the defensive zone. The Kings have it from their own end. Knocked away by Dumoulin. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. Opening face-off here in this second period is about set to go. Well, let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second because it was one-sided, to say the least, in the first. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Los Angeles dominated play in the first period, James. They were all over the puck, and their opponent had no answer, no time, no space, and they created a ton of turnovers that eventually wound up in the net. Moves with the puck at the corner. Picked up along the wall by Kopitar. Now a quick pass to Dowdy. And he comes up with a glove save. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. LA's offense has come to play in a big way as they dominated both the shots and goal category. And now it's grabbed by Anderson. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. We're still in the early stages of this period. 
The Kings are giving their fans a lot to cheer about tonight as they lead it 4-1. LA's won the draw, now let's see what they can do with it. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The Kings continue to lead here in this second period, looking strong offensively. Kopitar's gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. There's a pad save as he kicks it away. Let's see what the official says here. I just had a gander at the bench and the energy and the body language. I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice. The setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Pass across to Leeson. Kelly of stick snaps and he's off to the bench to get a new one. Gets back into the play quickly. LA's got the puck. Quick pass to Deneau. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Sends a pass over. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. And now he passes it to Deneau. And he sends it across to Clark. LA's on the attack. Caught into the glove by Gibson. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Carlson's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Moves it to Kempe. Polarizing, hit in the corner, and he's going to feel out the rest of the game. Slides it quickly to Kempe. Steps in front of the shot. They get it out of the defensive end. Quick feed to Dowdy. With a comfortable lead, James, some would say that that power play really wasn't a big deal, but I would say different. It's really important that you push, you continue to work on your habits, because the timing could be different next time. Made that stop. Gibson's got a difficult time tonight, James. He's struggled in the net and the way he's handling the puck, but how about some help in front of him? I mean, his defense, the forwards, everyone, a collective unit that really hasn't been firing on all cylinders. The Kings have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Los Angeles has it near the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Anaheim's got it now. Moves it quickly over to Anderson. Fires it into the offensive zone. Takes the feed. Pokes the puck away. Here's a short pass to Fegamo. And that's knocked away by Doughty. Quick pass to Lewis. Los Angeles with possession in their own zone. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Moves the puck to Cheneau. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. The Kings have dominated possession in this game. They've just worn down their opponent by possessing the puck. And really, they've been first on it. They've been heavy on it. They've been physical. They've done everything right. Terry's got it in the defensive end. Now he slides it up to Strome. Takes the pass on the left wing. Oh, just saved by Kemper. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. More than half the frame has been played here. LA's been the better team, and the scoreboard shows it. 4-1 is where we sit. Gauthier's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And it's a quick pass to Byfield. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Shuts him down. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. 
The Kings have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Great heads up play with the stick by McGinn. Puts it on net, turns it aside with the glove. Goaltender covers up with a stoppage of play. Los Angeles continues to lead here in the second period, doing a nice job of getting pucks on net. And as a result, they build up this lead. Taken by Gavrikov. Pushes it across to the very end. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Uh, okay, LA's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And that's off the stick. Gibson's going to hang on for a whistle. shot James I mean I'm looking at this going man I don't know if any goaltender would have stopped this the way he was able to move his feet corral that puck quickly with that quick release the snap of the wrist to be able to put it by the tendie LA's had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight and they continue to lead here late in period number two quick feed to Fiala big time stop too much traffic in the lane into the offensive end now Moves it around along the half wall. Feeds it down low. Change up, change up. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here he is. Scores! A huge goal here has put the right back into this one. Yeah, and if they can get one more, then we won away from tying this game up, James. So it's about building and continually finding ways to press and be aggressive on the puck. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So it's listening. Right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. Anaheim's not out of the woods just yet, not by a long shot, but at least they've made it a game, Cheryl. They've made it a game, and they aren't out of the woods, but they can figure out a way to get out of them, and that's one shift at a time, and they can start right there with a the goal. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Strong's gained the line and on the attack. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Big time stop there. Taken along the wall by Moore. 
And just like that, from out of nowhere, comes up with the puck. Across the line, down the left wall. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Gudas works the puck in his own zone. Fires it! Oh, he gets a blocker on it, what a stop by Kemper! And he loses control here. Denies him again! Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. There's been no shortage of firepower after the first 40 minutes, and we are underway here in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Los Angeles is leading in this high-octane game, but it's high-flying. There's a ton of scoring chances on both sides, and for a coach, this is a real difficult one. You get up by one, and then you give it right back because there's zero defensive structure. Cover, he's got it against the boards. There's a great glove save by Kemper. What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of the crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Kings lead by a pair. It's 5-3. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. The Kings will play it in their own end. And he takes the feed. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Kings have it against the wall. And he stops that kid in there. Wow. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Anaheim's going to start with the puck in their own end. The Kings scoop it up along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Byfield. Center and feed! And that's intercepted! Anaheim's through center right now in the offensive end. Along the half wall with the puck. Handles it along the blue line. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Makes the save! Cool and calm under pressure! Slides it across! Redirected off one of his own linemen there. Scores! It's in the back of the net! And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Well, coaches always say if you're not afraid to drive the net, good things will happen, but typically expect a shot to come, not a beautiful pass when you've got a defender right on you while you're shielding the puck. That's just a great play, a great drive, and a great pass to finish it off. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Anaheim's got control of it now from their own end. Here we go, on man rush. And that's a great heads-up play by Kavrikov. Moves it quickly over to Geno. And he takes the feed. Yeah. So Wiggers loving the puck. And some good footwork to kick it away. Now over to Kalorn. Handles the puck at the point. Tremendous stop by Kemper. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to battle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Here's a shot. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. The Ducks win the draw. Here's a short pass to Fiala. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. And here's the pass to Strom. He carries the puck up along the wing. Summer feed! And that's stopped! Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. 
LA's laying a pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. And they win the draw here in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Fowler. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Making the zone from the left side. Scoring in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Yeah, he's looking to complete the half trick. He's got two in the game. He's looking for his third. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Gibson. He scores. That's how you put it in the back of the net. and that's exactly what he does here. He knows how to manipulate his opponent to open up the lane, but it's all about the pass. It's got to be on the money if you want to do something with it. Well, yet another goal against, and I mean, it just keeps going down. It is a slide right now, and it's just about poor habits and attention to detail, and the coach is frustrated and angry behind the bench right now, just looking at everyone. He's not even sure who he can put out there. The Kings continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. Looks to make a play over to Pegamo. Slides the puck across to Vetrano. McTavish is stick handling in his own zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Edmondson. Steps into the offensive end. Here's a chance. Oh, what a save. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Byfield's won the draw there on the attack. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Petrano's got it along the wing. Takes it up, but he's still got the puck. Los Angeles brings the puck in from center. Great reach with the poke check by Michikov. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Takes the feed in center from the right wing. Anaheim's got the puck against the boards. Couldn't catch up to that pass. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up from the attack, but clearly the game's changing. Takes the pass. And a smart heads up play to put that away by Dumoulin. Rocks him. Los Angeles has put their top line out there, and this is a good coaching decision. Listen, they've been over. Scores another one, and listen to these fans now, Cheryl. They don't like it one day. Oh, they don't like it, James. It is ugly inside the building. You couldn't get anything going on the ice, and even harder when your own fans are booing. Coaches are always harping on pass execution. Well, this is a clear example. When the pass is crisp, and it's on the tape, it's on the money, it finds the back of the net. Preaching after the game. Through center along the wing. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Receives the pass. Quick pass to Kempe. All alone. What a save by the Tendi there. Well, he's exuding a ton of confidence, not sitting back in his neck, challenges and make the save. The Kings are going to want to bring this big lead home late in the third. Vincent's own. Great save! Sends the pass down low. There he is on the backhand! Being stopped by the goaltender right in front. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, look at this chance! And that's intercepted by Kopitar. Moves it to Spence. Slides the puck over. The Kings played along the boards. Takes a shot, and that goes off a player. 
Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Oh, he got punished by Kipper. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Stars and Locos can. They are really turning up the heat. Wow, so creative and free. And the reason why you can play free, because you're playing with a ton of confidence, not afraid to put the puck to the net and, of course, retrieve it. Well, hopefully you're just as excited as we are to call the next 